China unveils ambitious plan to rival Starlink with massive satellite constellations. Beijing, China is aggressively pursuing the development of multiple large-scale satellite internet constellations, signaling its intent to challenge the global dominance of SpaceX's Starlink and other players in the burgeoning space-based internet market. This ambitious undertaking involves three major projects, each aiming to deploy thousands of satellites into low-Earth orbit, LEO. The most substantial is Qianfan, also known as Thousand Sails, which plans to launch a network of 15,000 satellites. This ambitious project aims to provide widespread internet access across the globe. A second constellation, Guowang, is targeting a slightly smaller network of 13,000 satellites. Finally, Hongwu-3, while ambitious in its planned scale of 10,000 satellites, has yet to commence its launch program. This surge in activity follows a significant increase in Chinese investment in space-related technologies beginning in 2021. Analysts attribute this heightened investment to the demonstrable success of SpaceX's Starlink and the opportunity to address underserved regions of the world where existing internet infrastructure is lacking or access is politically restricted. Areas where government censorship is prevalent or where geopolitical considerations limit the accessibility of Western-based networks could be specifically targeted by China's efforts. This significant investment underscores China's determination to establish a substantial presence in the global satellite internet market, challenging the established dominance of SpaceX and positioning itself for future technological and geopolitical advantage. The implications extend beyond commercial interests, hinting at broader national security and strategic goals for the Chinese government. China's satellite internet push, geopolitical strategy and national security concerns. Beijing, China's ambitious development of massive satellite internet constellations, is not merely a commercial venture. It's a key component of the nation's broader geopolitical strategy and national security agenda. While China boasts the world's largest internet user base, it also has the second largest unconnected population globally. The ability to provide unfettered internet access domestically bypassing existing censorship mechanisms is a significant motivator for this initiative. Furthermore, China's space ambitions extend far beyond internet connectivity. Recent successes in lunar exploration, including the first-ever sample return mission from the far side of the moon and plans for crewed lunar landings by 2030, demonstrate a clear commitment to establishing a strong presence in space. These actions are interpreted as efforts to directly compete with the United States as a leading global superpower in the realm of science and technology. The potential for deploying a globally accessible internet network controlled by China presents substantial geopolitical implications, allowing the country to expand its technological influence and potentially exert greater control over information flow in various regions. This is not merely a technological race, it's a strategic power play. China's satellite constellation plans face launch capacity hurdle. Beijing, while China's financial commitment to its ambitious satellite internet constellations is substantial, ranking second globally in government space investment in 2023, a significant hurdle remains. The capacity to launch and deploy thousands of satellites within the ambitious timelines. Although Guo Wang, one of the three major projects, has secured the necessary frequency licenses from the International Telecommunications Union, ITU, meeting the stringent deadlines presents a major challenge. The ITU mandates initial satellite launches utilizing planned frequencies by 2027, with 10% of the total constellation deployed by September 2029. Currently, China lags behind in reusable rocket technology, a critical factor for cost-effective mass satellite deployment. Unlike SpaceX's successful reusable launch system, while launching a smaller fraction of the planned constellation seems feasible in the near term, Achieving the full scale of 38,000 satellites across all three projects by their target dates faces significant logistical hurdles. The lack of readily available, reliable, and cost-effective launch vehicles represents a considerable bottleneck that could significantly impact the timelines and ultimate success of China's ambitious satellite internet plans. Competitive Landscape and Market Opportunities for Chinese Satellite Internet Constellations Beijing China's entry into the global satellite internet market places it in direct competition with established players like SpaceX's Starlink and upcoming constellations such as Amazon's Project Kuiper and OneWeb. 
while Starlink already boasts a substantial lead with nearly 7,000 operational satellites and millions of subscribers, China's projects aim to carve out their own market niches. The United States, Western Europe, and their allies are unlikely to be primary targets for Chinese-controlled internet access, given existing infrastructure and geopolitical considerations. However, significant market opportunities exist in other regions areas with limited internet access or where government censorship restricts access to uncensored information, present fertile ground for Chinese constellations. This includes parts of Africa already heavily reliant on Huawei's 4G infrastructure, as well as regions like Russia, Afghanistan, and Syria, currently underserved by existing providers. The provision of internet access in these regions is viewed not merely as a commercial endeavor, but as a tool to expand China's technological and political influence. This strategic approach positions China's satellite internet initiative as a significant factor in shaping the future of global connectivity. Challenges and Concerns Surrounding the growth of low-Earth orbit satellite constellations The rapid expansion of low-Earth orbit LEO, satellite constellations, exemplified by China's ambitious plans and existing networks like Starlink, presents both opportunities and significant challenges. The increasing number of satellites raises concerns about orbital congestion and the proliferation of space debris. The potential for a catastrophic Kessler syndrome, where collisions create a cascading effect of debris rendering orbits unusable, is a serious consideration. Unlike geostationary satellites, LEO satellites lack a standardized regulatory framework for their physical location, increasing the risk of collisions. While current practices involve individual operators employing collision avoidance algorithms, a lack of coordinated response mechanisms complicates collision mitigation efforts. Furthermore, the environmental impact of deploying and eventually disposing of thousands of satellites, primarily composed of aluminum, remains largely unknown. Concerns also exist about interference with astronomical observations from Earth-based telescopes. These challenges necessitate international cooperation and the development of robust regulatory frameworks to ensure the long-term sustainability and safety of the increasingly crowded LEO environment. Transmission technologies have boosted the industry's vigorous development in the years to come. Reusable rockets. Reusable rockets are a key technology for the commercial space industry. Several Chinese rocket companies are conducting intensive test flights to iterate and improve reusable technologies. Among them, new rockets developed by companies like Space Pioneer, Cast Space, Galactic Energy, and Land Space are scheduled for their maiden flights in 2025, with subsequent plans to achieve first stage recovery and reuse. Among these rockets, Land Space's Zhuk 3 rocket could become the country's first rocket with a stainless steel body that can enter the orbit around Earth. Zhuk 3 completed a 10 kilometer vertical takeoff and landing recovery test in September 2024 at the Zhuquan Satellite Launch Center in northwest China. This mission used a single-stage rocket with liquid oxygen and methane engines, marking the first time a Chinese rocket finished vertical takeoff and landing. The mission also tested technologies such as in-flight relight after re-entry, joint guidance and control under transonic and high-dynamic pressure conditions, and the engineering application of real-time wind correction technology at high altitudes, marking a breakthrough for China's commercial reusable launch vehicle technology. Another reusable rocket prototype, Tianlong-3, developed by Space Pioneer, uses a 110-ton thrust liquid oxygen and kerosene engine to achieve a performance similar to that of SpaceX's Falcon 9. It is designed to launch more than 30 satellites in a single mission. Smart Launch Sites China has opened several commercial launch facilities in the past year, all of which have adopted innovative designs for launching rockets made by different companies. For example... The Hainan Commercial Aerospace Launch Site completed its first launch mission on November 30, 2024. Its intelligent launch site system integrates multiple subsystems through digital information and intelligent applications, achieving centralized resource management and unified scheduling to accommodate different launch missions. The number two launch pad, which carried out the first launch mission, features a universal interface design. Its equipment modules can be replaced according to different launch missions and provide launch services to rockets of different propellant types, takeoff weights, diameters, and lengths. Another example is the Dongfen Commercial Space Pilot Zone, 
which was built near the Jiquan Satellite Launch Center in northwest China. It can meet the launch requirements for large, medium, and small rockets using different propellants, such as liquid oxygen kerosene, liquid oxygen methane, and solid propellants. New Satellite Techs Chinese commercial space companies are also accelerating innovations in satellite applications and exploring new market scenarios. In mid-2024, Galaxy Space tested a broadband communication network in Thailand based on a low-Earth orbit satellite internet constellation named Little Spider Web, which consists of eight low-Earth orbit communication satellites. It plans to deploy more such satellites to promote a low-Earth orbit broadband satellite internet in the global market. The company is currently developing a type of satellite featuring integrated solar wings and antennas. This design allows a large antenna surface combined with solar wings to enhance the satellite's signal transmission. It is expected to realize direct broadband communication between consumer-grade mobile phones and satellite communication networks. Another satellite application company, Changguang Satellite Technology, has achieved a breakthrough in satellite data transmission. In December 2024, it experimented with high-resolution remote sensing image transmission using 100 gigabit gigabits per second ground satellite laser transmission technology. The company has mastered 100 gigabit laser communication technology for ground satellite and inter-satellite communications. It has established a high-speed laser data transmission network, which will enhance the capabilities of remote sensing satellites in disaster monitoring, environmental protection, and emergency response. Moreover, this technology can be applied to the integrated ground satellite mobile communication systems for satellite internet by offering a broader spectrum and higher data transmission rates to facilitate the development of 5G non-terrestrial networks and 6G satellite internet.